京のスタジオも揺れています東京のスタジオも揺れています I'm in Japan! Actually, I'm not in Japan. I'm in my mom's basement. <laughs> I know, I know. But I'm not just here to destroy your sense of imagination. I'm here to tell you everything there is to know about Japan. See, more specifically, I'm here to tell you about the strengths and weaknesses of the country. You know, what's good and what's not so good. So to start off, we'll talk about strengths. Now, what's the one thing that comes to mind when you think of Japan? You know, what's the one thing that warrants this video? It could be the vast cityscapes, the mountains that tower over the horizon. It could be the deep and spiritual history of the place. So come on, what's the one thing to start this whole video off? Monkeys! Monkeys! In Japan, they have entire monkey parks, which is essentially just a roped off area in Japan where a bunch of monkeys just dropped out the battle bus and people said, I want to go there and spend my evening there. So they do. And I know what you might be thinking. What are you talking about? I'm in America and I'm with the monkeys just as much as you are. You might think you have these in America, but see, you have a big pane of glass in between you and the monkey. See, in Japan, they don't have that. There's no enclosures, there's no gates, no nothing. Well, that is except for one in Futsu City, which did have a metal gate in between the patrons and the monkeys. But as I mentioned earlier, Japan loves themselves some monkeys and nothing gets in the way between Japan and some monkeys. According to local law enforcement, a 16-year-old student and his little gaggle of guys walk up to the fence, cut a hole in the fence, and let about 70 Japanese macaques just run wild in the street and go bananas. That is until they were all gathered up and sent back and put behind their monkey imprisonment once again. Now, in my eyes, this kid is a not a hero. He's not a hero. He cut a hole in a fence, property damage, just no, I'm not going to support that. But just one year earlier from this incident, Typhoon Faxi came through Japan and wiped out a lot. But one thing it did wipe out was the same metal fence in the same exact monkey park. Which means that not only can you keep the Japanese people from seeing the monkeys up close, but the entire country itself will send a fucking typhoon just to get closer to the monkeys. I, I, you can't write this shit, all right? Enough monkey business. <laughs> music. You like music? We got music over here in Japan. Let me tell you, see, music has been a huge part of the culture since dating back to about 300 BCE. Back then, and even still today, it's a beautiful form of expression. They would use a koto, a kind of like early form guitar, or a mukuri, which is a piece of wood with string attached to it. Okay. Yeah. That is all. Okay. Well, well they've come a long way since whatever the hell that was. The country's musical prowess even spills into their gaming industry. I mean, you've got stuff like Sonic, you've got Silent Hill 2, you've got Chrono Trigger. I mean, these are all huge hits in Japan. And before you ask, no, I won't play them. 
just for how long it might be and copyright. The giant enemy spider audio jungle. Oh my god! So their games have good music, but are they good games? Yeah. Most most okay, mo most of the major video game companies either have roots in Japan or are still actively based in Japan. See, you've got stuff like Square Enix, Nintendo, so Sony, Sega, Bandai Namco. These are huge players in the game. And these companies all together have some of the largest IPs in gaming history. You've got stuff like Mario, Sonic, Pac-Man, Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Death Strand. That's Death Stranding is an, a major IP. Yakuza. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. It would be a massive understatement to say that Japan has changed the video game industry forever. I mean, they have stuff like Atari, bringing the gaming consoles to your home. They have stuff like Nintendo, bringing the gaming consoles into your hands. They have stuff like Death Stranding, bringing me disappointment. Why does that keep coming up? All right, now I think Japan's biggest strength has to be, not monkey, I'm not bringing monkeys back. I think it's gotta be their tourism industry. Just the amount of different attractions it has and the amount of people that it brings in every year is just insane for the country that Japan is. Last year, they unveiled a massive, life-sized, moving Gundam. And if you don't know what a Gundam is, it's a big robot with gun swords from an anime I didn't watch. It's not important. What is important is that it's just a huge robot that is like 10 stories high. And it's like the coolest thing that I've ever seen. And I don't know a word from their anime. They also have a tour of the capital, Tokyo, where people dress up as Mario characters and then wait for it, drive around in go-karts in Tokyo. Like, if I walked up to you and asked you if you wanted to do that and you said no, I, I think I would check your pulse. I mean, what kind of person wouldn't want to do that other than a complete loser, someone who hates everything or is currently not in Japan? That, that last one might Okay, and if modern attractions aren't your style, there's plenty of historical landmarks to see during your time in Japan. For example, the Fushimi Inari Taisha, which is this Shinto shrine with a wide variety of gates donated from businessmen or individuals hoping for good luck. Now, to Americans, it's just the thing that everyone thinks of when they think of Tokyo. Oh, the big uh, red gates land, yeah. Don't much care for those people. <laughs> now, who are these gates for? Well, they're for good luck from Inari. Who's Inari? Well, silly, it's the god of rice. Now, I could say something about how they have a god for rice, but I'm not going to. An entire god that governs over rice wouldn't make fun of it strictly off limits. Just wouldn't think it. I would not speak to that level. I just wouldn't do it. Wouldn't even cross my mind. And Inari, if you're watching, that was just a joke. I know you govern over more things. Inari is like that sweet wolf thing from Okami, the video game. Another great game from Japan. So, joke. Also, while you're on your search for temples in Japan, might I suggest to you the great Todaiji? Todaiji. 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 While you're on your search for Japanese temples, might I suggest to you the Todaiji. This massive building was built in 752 CE, and it was one of the seven great Buddhist temples. And I say was because apparently Buddhist temples like rotate in and out of which one's great. Which, can we pause? Like, is Buddha just up there looking down at these temples and is just like, not really feeling that one today. Uh, uh, that one, that one's the seventh grade. That one's the good one. 
that, yeah, that, that one, yep, that one. As one could expect, all this tourism must bring in a lot of money. I mean, all the crowds that come in year to year, and you would be right, because oh boy, does it bring home the bacon. See, in 2019 alone, foreign tourists were responsible for 2% of the entire GDP of Japan, which admittedly doesn't sound like a lot, but 2% in Japan's entire GDP is 4.3 trillion yen. They are ranked fourth out of the world in tourism. So, after all this, all these great things about Japan, all these strengths, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, 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 I, did oh, I, excuse me, excuse I thought those were the strengths and weaknesses video. I haven't seen a weakness, and yeah, you would be right for thinking that. Because there haven't been. Because you know what? There are none. I spent hours and minutes, I spent minutes researching Japan. Not a single thing. No weaknesses. Not a single one. It's like they've never been the bad guy or something. What's that? Oh. Did a little more research. They have been the bad guy. They have their weaknesses. They have a pretty bad reputation after some things happened. But aside from that, the prime example is something we actually touched on earlier, their economy. I know I put in the strengths, but I feel like sometimes their weaknesses tend to overshadow their strengths. Mainly, competition. They have little to no profit margins, they make barely any return on any of their investments, and just about every single country in the world has their same exact exports, meaning they sell it for cheaper and they grow exponentially while Japan is just struggling to keep up. Speaking of struggling to keep up, something Japan can't keep up with? Gangs. The main gang everyone knows about is the Yakuza. But the Yakuza isn't necessarily a gang per se, it's more a collection of gangs. It's an organized crime syndicate full of the baddest dudes that you will ever see. They regularly spend their days trafficking drugs, getting cool tattoos, beating people up that oppose them, and blackmailing people of power. Also blackmailing companies because about one in five companies in Japan have admitted to being paid off by the Yakuza. And I say admitted because that's just the people who answered truthfully to this survey. You don't know how many people are just too terrified of the Yakuza to say anything. I mean, I don't know about you, but these are not guys I would want to mess with. They have a ritual called Yubitsume where they cut a section of their finger off, starting with the pinky, for every dishonorable action they do towards the Yakuza or another member of the Yakuza. I mean, have you seen the videos of the Yakuza members getting out of their cars on the street and going up to other cars and just like, they're just stanced up there and the other guy just books it in the other direction. He's like, I'm, I'm not doing this. <laughs> so the Yakuza has been infamous for many years now because of the nasty hijinks that them and their gang of criminal outlaws get into. But maybe they're not all bad. Because in 2011 and 1995, they donated copious amounts of relief materials to those affected by earthquakes in Japan. And I want to talk about the 2011 one because according to The Diplomat, a very well-respected magazine outlet in Japan, Official response was so slow that the Yakuza donated their materials to those affected before the official response could even get there. Like, think about that. There's an organization in Japan whose sole purpose is to provide relief materials to those affected by earthquakes in Japan. And the Yakuza just strolls on in and donates a bunch of relief materials before official response could even, like, think. They're, they're a gang of like criminal outlaws. What, what do they do? And the funny thing is, it greatly strengthened their PR. Like, a lot. Like, just, just imagine sitting on the couch and you're watching the news and it just goes...
Just recently, Yakuza-related gang violence runs rampant through the streets after the Yamaguchi Gumi clan splits up soon after their leader, Kenichi Shinoda, is released from prison. In other news, the Yakuza just donated a bunch of money to those affected by earthquakes. <laughs> Which is... God, you guys are the best. You guys, the Yakuza, come on. Speaking of natural disasters in Japan, they have a lot of them. Like, a lot. <laughs> Mainly earthquakes and tsunamis, because the country literally sits on top of four different tectonic plates, all coming together to form Japan. And like 20 earthquakes a second. <laughs> they also lie directly in the ring of fire, which means that they don't just get earthquakes and tsunamis, they also have volcanoes. Bring your kids. And all this means that for the past 20 years, Japan has had to deal with battery very low. And now, recited entirely from memory, the 2021 Fukushima earthquakes, the 2020 Kyushu floods, the 2019 Typhoon Faxai, that's the monkey one, the 2017 Northern Kyushu floods, the 2016 Kumamoto earthquakes, the 2014 Mount Antake eruption, the 2014 Hiroshima landslides, the 2012 Typhoon Haikwei, the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, the 2007 Chetsu offshore earthquake, the 2006 Typhoon Iwinar, the 2004 onshore earthquake, the 2002 Typhoon Chetan, and the 2001 Gaio earthquake. I memorized it. He minimized it. And the last weakness, overpopulation in their cities. I actually don't have anything written down for this because I didn't really know exactly how to put it into words. So I'm just gonna spitball it here and we'll have a train wreck by ourselves. It's just a lot of people, <laughs> too many people. Look, that's a lot of people in one place. Uh, statistic, that many, a lot of people. I don't know, I'm stuck in a overpopulated city home. So overpopulated. <laughs> well, here we are. Our journey is coming to an end. But what a journey it's been. The ups and downs, the twists and turns, the unreasonably long monkey section. After all of it, I just want to say thank you. This is by far the most time I've ever put into a video project. Um, so if you watched it this far, thank you. But the journey's not completely over. See, as you stare off into the horizon, the sun setting on this video, you squint, you squint your eyes really hard and you see something in the distance. There's some, it's faint, but it's there. And you see it and you feel like you could just grab it right out of the video. And it's right here, I got it. So what does it say? It's, it's Japan's ultimate strength. It's something I didn't mention in the video. It says Japan's ultimate strength is, it's, They've never aired an episode of Family Guy. <laughs> Ever. <laughs>please subscribe. I know it's annoying. I know every YouTuber asks it, but it helps. And I put a lot of work into this, so it'd be greatly appreciated. But just watching the video just helps out so much, so thank you. And as they say in Japan, Oshiri ni yubi o irite. Expect to see me again. <laughs> Probably gonna be streaming like a couple hours within a couple hours of the video going up. Check out twitch.tv slash Drewception. Link probably below if I remember. I will.
uh, link. I'm probably going to start streaming again Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're going to start a little schedule. i start, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, okay, guys, hold on. Uh, streaming, Twitch, streaming, going at it, going back to the grind. Come, come hang out. Um, hold on, guys, sorry, hold on. Hold on, guys, sorry, it's streaming. I'm, I'm streaming. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming.